since human beings have a gallbladder, sorry to my vegetarian brothers and sisters, but we're probably supposed to eat meat. We're probably supposed to eat saturated fat. Now, this may make our vegan and vegetarian brothers and sisters upset with us, but nonetheless, the truth must be told. Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. So on a recent live stream, a viewer was telling us about how he's trying to get his dad to go vegan, but his dad insists no. It's totally impossible for him to go vegan. It's completely unhealthy and unnatural to go vegan because his dad saw this video from Dr. Ken Berry, who I've responded to before for saying a bunch of nonsense about vegans. Anyway, in this video, Dr. Berry says, we can't possibly be vegans because humans have gallbladders. Some vertebrates do have a gallbladder, and it's very interesting who does and who doesn't. I think you're going to find this very, very interesting. Yes, I think this is actually very interesting, but not for the reasons that Dr. Barry thinks. And then I'll tell you why this is so interesting and why it, it actually tells us what kind of diet we should be eating. Sorry, vegans. Um, I'm sorry. If anyone should be sorry, it should be Dr. Barry for putting out such completely irresponsible nonsense. As I'll show here, what he's saying is not backed up by science. He's just making stuff up, just speculating, but disguising it as some kind of scientific truth. And when he does try to present facts, as I'll show you, he gets them completely wrong. So let's break the vertebrates down into herbivores and carnivores. Herbivores are vertebrate animals, animals who eat plants. They don't ever eat animal matter. Uh, they don't ever eat fat. They just eat plants. That's an herbivore. All right, so let me stop you right here, Dr. Barry. I, I always am baffled when I see um, doctors and other experts try to pin down a macronutrient type with a food type. And this reductionist thinking is just completely factually wrong. All fruits have fats in them. Sure, they might have more carbohydrate content than fat, but there's no fruit that I'm aware of that is devoid of the macronutrient known as fat. Secondly, there are some herbivores that dine primarily on nuts and seeds, which are extremely high in their fat content. So to say that herbivores do not or cannot or never consume fats is completely factually wrong. Now, most herbivores do not have a gallbladder. They don't have one. They don't need one. And so they graze all the time. They never eat fat. Those type animals don't have a gallbladder because they don't need it. So as we'll see here, this is going to be the main thrust of his argument, that the presence or absence of a gallbladder in an animal determines what kind of diet that animal should be eating. Now, let's talk about carnivores, lions, tigers, uh, any kind of carnivore that eats meat, dogs, they have a gallbladder. So yes, this is his argument or assertion here that if an animal has a gallbladder, it should be eating meat. That's its primary food. And likewise, if an animal doesn't have a gallbladder, it should be an herbivore eating no meat. Well, let's see how this really works out. Let's talk about some gallbladder facts and let's try to make sense of why horses and cows and llamas and alpacas don't have a gallbladder, but lions and tigers and you do have a gallbladder. As I'll show you in a moment, Dr. Barry is being very disingenuous here, lumping in human beings with lions and tigers and leaving out a whole bunch of other animals that have gallbladders that don't eat much meat. But anyway, let's see him present his argument and then we'll tear it apart. Gallbladder, what it does is it stores and concentrates bile from your liver. That's what it does. And so when, when your gallbladder senses that there's fat in the gastrointestinal system, when you eat fat, then your gallbladder is told by a hormone called cholecystokine to secrete some of the bile because your body has to have that bile to digest that big fat load. So if you listen to Dr. Barry there, it makes it sound like that having a gallbladder is a necessary organ in the human body without which we wouldn't be able to digest foods, especially foods that have the macronutrient known as fat. But this is far from being the case. It's a well-known medical fact that humans can be perfectly fine and healthy and live a completely normal life without having a gallbladder. Some people get their gallbladders removed. And in such cases, a person's liver produces the bile needed to digest food. Your, your body has a mechanism to store and concentrate bile. Your body does. And that, that means something about what you should eat.
By that same logic, our bodies have the ability to store the carbohydrates that we eat in the form of glycogen in our bodies. So by your own logic, we're designed to eat high carbohydrate foods, right, Dr. Barry? Your body is made to eat fat, okay? It's made to eat big amounts of fat. Who knows? That could possibly be true, but just the fact that most humans have gallbladders doesn't prove your conclusion there. Uh, it's made to eat saturated fat. Oh, so now it's not only fat, it's saturated fat. It's funny how you've gone from humans have gallbladders to humans need to eat fat, and now humans need to eat saturated fat. There's something missing in your argument here. And there's only one place that you can find saturated fat in large amounts, and that's in animal products, okay? There are no plant products that have saturated fats in that high of an amount. Not that any of what he just said here matters to his conclusion about humans and gallbladders, but let me just show you how factually wrong Dr. Barry is here. So let's have a look at coconut oil. And last time I checked, coconut oil comes from a plant. And for one serving of coconut oil, which is about 121 calories, you have over 11 grams of saturated fat. In comparison, let's check out some venison or deer steak. And I chose this because he has this fascination with how our ancient ancestors ate in the wild. And here, for a similar amount of calories, you're getting one gram of saturated fat. And if you want to compare that to a more modern meat a typical dude would eat, let's look at bacon. Similar amount of calories, you're only getting 2.9 grams of fat. Again, the coconut oil had over 11 grams of saturated fat. I also want to point out how Dr. Berry's enthusiasm for saturated fat goes against the mainstream medical consensus here from Harvard T. Chan. Saturated fat, regardless of type, linked with increased heart disease risk. And the American Heart Association says eating foods that contain saturated fats raises the level of cholesterol in your blood and high levels of LDL, bad cholesterol in your blood, increase your risk for heart disease and stroke. And they recommend replacing high saturated fat foods in your diet with things like fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. There are no plant products that have saturated fats in that high of an amount. So no, not only is he promoting a diet which promotes heart disease and stroke, according to mainstream medical science, he's completely factually wrong about there being no plant foods that are high in saturated fat content. Since human beings have a gallbladder, sorry to my vegetarian brothers and sisters, but we're probably supposed to eat meat. We're probably supposed to eat saturated fats in large amounts. I think that's how we evolved. I think the gallbladder pretty much conclusively proves it. Well, Dr. Barry, you're completely on your own here. I reviewed the scientific literature and I could find no credible or non-credible theory that linked the presence of the human gallbladder to the type of diet we should or shouldn't be eating. Because remember, Dr. Barry, humans can live a perfectly fine and healthy life without having a gallbladder. And it gets even worse than that for Dr. Barry's argument here about the presence of gallbladders indicates that the creature is supposed to eat meat. Remember earlier I said that he's being extremely disingenuous, lumping in humans with tigers and lions, saying, hey, all three of them have gallbladders, so all three of them should be eating a bunch of meat because lions and tigers eat a bunch of meat. Well, he intentionally excluded animals such as like primates, you know, apes, monkeys, chimpanzees, bonobos, from his list of creatures that have gallbladders. Why did he intentionally do that? Because he knows that those animals are primarily vegetarian. Let's take a look at our closest genetic relative, the bonobo. Over 98.5% of our DNA are shared. So if you look at the actual diet of bonobos, they're not carnivorous creatures like lions and tigers. They primarily eat fruits, flowers, leaves, and stems. And they're no exception. Let's take a look at the diets of gorillas. Pretty much the same thing, primarily vegetarian creatures. So. If this video has interested you, then please help me to spread the message and help me make more videos like this in the future. More videos like this in the future? Are you serious? This is just pure misinformation. You're presenting like it's scientific fact that this gallbladder theory of yours determines you know, what kind of food a creature should be eating. You're completely on your own here. You're not, there's no scientific consensus whatsoever on this. You're speculating alone in, in the whole world here and trying to say that vegans 
are somehow doing it wrong because of gallbladders. We should be eating tons of meat, tons of saturated fat. And again, that goes against the mainstream science. And your advice here, Dr. Bear, just to be frank with you, could be extremely dangerous to people. And this is not just my opinion. That's the opinion of mainstream science here, the scientific consensus. But all you're doing here is putting out a bunch of misinformation, particularly against vegan diets here. You intentionally excluded the primates who also have gallbladders and eat a primarily vegetarian diet, but you neglected to mention that because it didn't suit your purposes here. So I ask you, why are you putting out this misinformation for? This is what pains me that I have to make videos like this debunking this nonsense. I know it's an information war here and it's my job to to debunk this anti-vegan nonsense here and you're just making up stuff, you're lying, your facts are completely off here as I showed many times. So please Dr. Barry, do everyone a service and stick to something that you know better here because you're not helping anyone other than perhaps yourself here. I'm just kind of getting frustrated having to uh, respond to videos like this. And this video is old. I didn't catch it when it came out a few years ago, but I caught it now because like I said, our viewer's dad saw this. And this is why I'm so pissed off. Our viewer's dad doesn't want to go vegan now because he saw this video. So please, I forgot what your screen name, what your username was, but show my video here to your dad and show him how Dr. Barry's completely wrong. There's nothing about the presence of a gallbladder in human beings that dictates that we must eat meat, we can't be vegetarian or vegan. That's just complete nonsense. So anyway guys, like, share this video, and until next time guys, um, check out the Happy Healthy Vegan Cookbook, Dr. Barry, I'll be more than happy to send a copy of this to you, and when you try it out, and I'm sure you're gonna feel a hell lot better eating this way after a few weeks. Anyway guys, take care, gotta go. When does the pain